All right. Good morning, everyone. I actually decided to go to bed early, really early last night. Ah, oh, so I got like a good nine, eight and a half, nine hours of sleep. So a little groggy. I also just realized I haven't been able to go for a walk because the weather has been so crap lately. It's just cloudy or even rainy. So that's no fun. So anyway, uh, not a lot of projects today. Uh, we actually just have two, uh, including this one. And uh, yeah, it just seems like uh, crypto launches are just very dry at the moment. All right, makes sense. I mean, everything's down. Everyone's uh, kind of mad about the scams and stuff like that and failed projects. So yeah, I guess people's appetite for new projects is like, whew. But, you know, Big Cats is actually launching in a short bit. Uh, so, I don't know, to be honest, I'm probably not going to do it because I already have, you know, my BUSD Crop Farmer. I'm actually pretty happy with that. And there is actually <clears throat> a benefit to coming in later, right? Because the miners are actually getting cheaper, so your share of rewards gets diluted faster, right? But if you wait till later and then come in... Uh, it's not, I mean, you'll still get diluted, but maybe not as fast. So, you know, it's like the, like the thing says, right? Anytime's a good time to get in, you know. So, and which it should be because you want every, you want everything to be as fair as possible for everyone. I've noticed that my BNB miner uh, TVL is actually going down uh, quite a bit, even though the contract size is going up a little. All right, that's because I'm getting diluted by everyone else compounding. So. But luckily for BNB Miner, I just compound when I wake up and I sell and I, uh, you know, I actually try to compound it when I wake up and then I wait a few hours and then I compound BNB Miner again. So I get approximately 12 hours of compounding and then 12 hours later I pull out money right? and I do whatever I want with it. Uh, for now, I'm slowly adding to my Titano position. So I'm trying to figure out what my old Titano position was. I can tell you what it is. It was originally ten thousand dollars worth of Titano, but that was back when it was way more expensive. So I don't even remember how many tokens that is. So I'm trying to get back that amount of tokens, but obviously at the current discount price for Titano, like two and a half cents. So we'll see how that goes. I'm I'm doing a very small micro buy, like ten percent, fifteen percent of a Binance coin. Everything else I'm just keeping as reserves for now. Uh, so before we go into yield miner, because again, there's not really much to talk about. And you'll see that, yes, Bitcoin has just hit 39th at grand, right? Because it was right below it, right before I hit the record button. Yeah, Avalanche is already warping to 62 bucks. I don't know why Polygon is getting shitted on so badly, but, you know. And, of course, we got Stupid Phantom, which is sure somewhere down here being useless. Uh, where are you? Oh, man, you're going to make me dig for this? I mean, I already know the approximate price of... Okay, I, I have to do this. Where are you? 79 cents. Okay. Yeah, so we really do need to go uh, wait on the Fed later. So I will be live later at 2 p.m. New York City time. So if you happen to be watching this, you got nothing better to do. Uh, yeah, I mean, just drop by. You know, it's, a, it's the one of the rare time you can actually get my advice for free, basically. You know? Because I'd rather uh, just either do my own thing, exercise, or play video games, you know? Alright, so that's that. I think market setup, uh, I don't know, I think we already did this. But yeah, the market setup is already pretty good. So, you know, everyone's just waiting on the Fed. Yeah, I mean, even the stock markets are already up in anticipation. Yeah, so these bond yields are actually up to date. Yeah, so it's exactly what the market thinks. 50 basis points. So... It's looking pretty good today, right? It's looking good. So as long as the Fed doesn't screw us over, which I highly doubt they will because they know that they're just one step away from screwing everything up. And then you got the Roe v. Wade distraction thing going on, right? You know, I can't actually say what my real position on that is uh, because I don't want this video to get demonetized. But anyone who's followed me on my Twitter for a while, you know what my real position is, you know? So, yeah. To think, it was all done just as a distraction to keep people divided. You know, yeah, it's true. But, I mean, Satan does what his thing, God does his thing, right? And as a Chinese person, we have a thing in culture where no matter what, no matter what bad thing happens, you can always turn it into some kind of opportunity. 
That's why in Chi in the Chinese language, at least, you know, the word for disaster is the exact same word for opportunity. This was a deliberate conscious choice by my r distant racial ancestors, right? We all agree, and that's what it is. And we actually have some tales about that. Like, uh, I don't know, you'll probably have to Google it, but there's like the story of some guy uh some dad some really old dad like had like a son and his son was like stupid or something or i i'm, I'm completely screwing up the tale i just know that at first he was poor or he became poor and then everyone in the village laughed at him and then after that to try to learn i guess to make money he tried learning horse riding or something like that and then he fell off the horse and now the son not only was he poor but he was now crippled so you got so so you know pretty bad right big disaster village was like oh you know so unfortunate right and then shortly thereafter there was a war they drafted everyone in the village that could fight and everyone dies in the that was drafted dies in that war well, except the crippled son because he was crippled and poor well actually poor doesn't matter in that case it was because he was crippled so the dad the old dad was like oh wow these disasters turned out to be really good Oh, that's the other thing, too. Every time something bad happened to the son, the father, the old father, was like, oh, really happy, right? He's like, oh, disaster strikes. That that strikes. That means something good's happening. I just don't know what it is yet, right? And then when something good happened, I forgot the thing that, there was something like good that happened after the kid lost all his money. And then the father was actually pretty upset. He's like, oh, no, this is bad, <laughs> right? So that's, that, that's like a really screwed up version of the tale that i told you but i got the war part right because the son was crippled and couldn't fight in the war obviously so he was spared so 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 that's that's like there are many like there are many stories like that in china i think maybe I should sometime look look you know what? i'm gonna actually look up these uh what do i type in google though <sighs> chinese <sighs> i don't know man Chinese good luck stories. Uh, it's not even about luck. It's um. Okay, how about Chinese disaster opportunity stories? All right. God, th these results don't look exactly what I'm looking for. So yeah, so that's how I look at it. You know. And yeah, in Christianity, it's the same thing, too, right? Just because something bad happens, you know, there's a reason why God has you uh, go through the pain, you know? It's the exact same thing. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. Like, Chinese people really are like Christians, except without the whole Jesus thing, <laughs> All right? Yeah. Which is why China will, and the Asians will always be, like, number two, all right? So, but the moment they turn Christian, you know, they'll, yeah, they'll pretty much own the world, probably. Well, at least until America comes back to Christ, if that ever happens, which I think it will. So anyway, uh, there's not much to say about this yield miner project. Uh, I know there's a video about yield miner, and I we spend like what almost eight and a half minutes talking about something not related. But that's how I always do these videos. Uh, but with that being said, um, this I got from I think Showtime. I mean, they had to have paid them to make this video because there's literally nothing on this page, right? I mean, at least I, at least it's not a scam, I think. It's got 73.8 Binance coin. It's got apparently some kind of treasury, so that's good. The tax gap is 5%, which is borderline, but at this point, um, I think not only you have to worry about the tax gap, but you really have to worry about the daily APR. Uh, there's literally, the, another problem I have with the site is there is absolutely no social media. There's no Telegram, there's no Twitter, there's, there's nothing. And according to the Showtime video, at least the description, this is supposed to be a, a minor aggregator. So, I mean, I can't, I, I, I can't believe that because there's no white paper. There, there's nothing on this page for me to really work with. Oh, that's the other thing, too. There's not even a uh, link to the contract. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to have to find a new YouTube uh, YouTube source because, you know, there's a lot of sketchy projects that Showtime uh, promotes on his channel. 
and he doesn't mark any of it as paid promotion and this has clearly got to be a paid promotion thing so i i don't know man now now i have noticed that the url here says minor dot one yield so maybe we should go to the one yield dot io which doesn't do anything yeah so uh, it's up to you to decide if you want to believe the story and then believe in their treasury, but um, there's literally no info on this on, on this minor project, so I don't know, man. But it does seem to have more money than I think it was BNB Lemon, right? Which I did yesterday or two days ago, because I had like 49. You know, we could probably take a look actually. BNB, what was the? Uh, oh, I gotta log into my mask here. That's actually not too bad. When I did the video, I think yesterday, I was at 49.9. This is at 46.14. So, I mean, yeah, it went down a little bit, but good fee. And, I mean, it has, it has links to stuff. All right. Um, so, the TVL actually didn't drain that much. Hmm. So I don't know, I guess if you're really interested in this project, what you could do is just observe the contract size and see what happens with it and then make a decision afterwards. Well, I mean, technically, you don't make any decisions. That's up to God and Satan, but I mean, I think you get the idea, all right? You know, just wait, just have a wait and see attitude, just observe this. And then based on what you see, you know, you can put go in or pass, all right? For me, you know my deal, right? You know, unless it's a... BNB miner or crops farmer actual fork with uh, you know the actual mandatory compounding or at minimum the uh, the restricted rewards you know you know I, I tend to just uh, you know really not put money in uh, any new miner project and I would very much like to do so but I don't know I mean you have baked cats right coming out in like a couple hours. BUSD, but I mean, I have a BUSD crops farmer, so I don't know. I think it'll, I think it'll be a matter of time before people copy or fork BNB miner and crops farmer onto other blockchains. All right. Even though I really don't like what's happening in the Phantom, I would actually like to invest in. I would actually like to hold Phantom tokens too. All right. This is in addition to AVAX and Polygon and all the other good stuff. But uh, if not, I mean, I guess I'll just go with what I have now, keep compounding uh, my very stable positions. Because right now I'm only compounding Crops Farmer projects, B and B Minor, and uh, Pancake, Pancake Lucky Cat, funny enough. Um, so, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Hey, anyway, check out Yield Miner, the so-called uh, <laughs> Ultimate Miner. And... Um, I mean, the only good thing I see is they have a treasury. Let me actually, can I refresh this page? Okay. Maybe if I connect, maybe I'll see more things. 3.8. Yeah, I literally do not see anything here. The only thing that's changed is this. Because I connected my wallet to the site. It's got a QR code. Okay. There's also a last compounding yeah i guess but i mean i don't i will maybe i'm too zoomed in yeah there's literally no links to anything like i don't know why there's no links to anything like this project would get a lot more money if you know they had this i also forgot i'm supposed to change the uh the thing on the lower left corner like i don't actually understand why just saying like and subscribe at the beginning of the video actually has a makes a difference like that's yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, come to think of it, Greg Manorino doesn't do that. And he does just fine. Yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah. But I do have to add a picture, though, on the lower left that says, you know, like and subscribe to this channel or something. All right, I'll work on that later. I'll work on it after I make my videos today. You know, just, um, you know what, I have to actually put that as a... Uh, uh, what do I write? YouTube sub button. All right, there we go. I'll just write that there. Okay. So, made my a reminder myself in Chrome. All right. Well, with that being said, uh, you can check out Elmire if you want. You already know my position. So, uh, 
So yeah, which means that I will not be investing in this project. Uh, but I mean, I won't be investing in most minor projects. Just cover them and then just let you decide what you want to do with it, right? You know, because again, you know, I'm, remember, I'm I'm like I'm getting pretty old, right? I mean, I don't want to say my exact age, and I look pretty young, which is good. But you know, I mean, it's just it's just like man, I've done make a, I've done the make a lot of money, lose all my money, and make a lot of money again, then lose all my money. So many times in my lifetime that I'm just completely sick and tired of it. And the simple fact that I just almost lost all my money in Stupid Metaverse Pro like five six months ago, I mean, it's like jeez, man, like, am I ever going to learn my lesson? The answer is actually yes, but, you know, this is how it, this is how it comes out, which is, you know, I need something that's obvious, where I have zero doubts, and, you know, I have to have very strict standards, right? You know, I'm like, I gotta be like BlackRock or Goldman Sachs, you know, uh, of crypto, in a way, so, yeah. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. Uh, like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, thank you to all the new people and old people uh, subscribing and watching uh, my channel and videos. We're actually just like very close to 1,500, so definitely hit that subscribe button. Let's just keep growing. Because um, eventually, even though I'm not the fastest growing YouTube channel, I am 100% sure I'm like the most honest one, which is why my growth is the slowest, because people don't want honesty. I mean, you, you guys and gals obviously do, but and a lot of people in crypto do, but most actually don't. They just want like the pump and dump uh, mentality that pretty much you know permeates pretty much all the other crypto YouTube channels. So you know, uh, that's just how it goes. But that's okay. That's okay. So well, it's really not, but there's also nothing I can do about it, really. All right, unless I want to go to the dishonest route, but you know we're. <laughs> We're not going to do that, you know, so, you know, so that's why, you know, God has to reward me because obviously, uh, this world's not going to really reward me, <laughs> you know, but that doesn't mean I'm completely screwed by the world, you know, God will find the right people and then just direct those right people to me. And then like, oh, okay, I put my money into their projects. And then, you know, once in a while you get like crops farmer, BNB miner, and Sphere, of course, right? I mean, hell, even Titano, too, right? At least when Titano recovers, because they're still under a lot of pressure, so. I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be uh, Mystery Bird. So this is like an NFT drip fork thing. So luckily, there doesn't seem to be much for me to check over on their website. So and it's got, like, some decent graphics, too. So, yeah. Anyway, check out Yield Miner. Uh, I will be passing, of course. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't know. Their dev is watching this. I mean, can you just like put the links to your like your Twitter, your telecor telecord telegram, Discord, or the at least the contract, right? You know. Like you'll get a lot more money that way. Alright? I mean unless you have something to hide. But if you're a legit project, there's no re new reason to hide it. Just 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 show us the just show us something, you know? And then you'll because you're already doing pretty well with a seventy three point eight finance coin contract for having literally no info on your page with no links right and that's assuming this is actually uh, a real number so yeah that's the other thing too people might actually think these are all faked numbers i just realized that i don't know showtime placed the did the video i don't see people complaining about rug pull scam on his comments but i don't know it could could very well easily be manipulated too so i don't know We'll see. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.